Hey everyone, it's Marissa. I have a product share that I wanted to show you guys. So let's get started. Um, it's gonna be a real quick project. You've seen it before, but um, I'm just using different items. So um, I have these note cards or these cards from Daiso, or not Daiso, what am I thinking? I'm not doing a haul video, duh. <laughs> but I got these note cards from Michaels. They're the new note cards that you can find in the $1.50 section at Michaels. So I use those and then I use these ones as well. Um, let me see what this line is called. This one's called Fall. And then these new ones, these other new ones are called Nothing. Oh, okay, wait. These are part of the Fall collection. And um, these are by Studio 18. And they were in the $1.50 section. And these are a few of the new cards that they have out um, currently at Michaels. They also have another one that is um, nautical themed. Um, but I didn't get those because my store didn't have them. So I got these. So go ahead and show you. Of course I had to make shaker note cards, right? So I whipped these up real quick. These are so cute. I love the colors. The inside, um, because they don't have like thicker cardstock, I used some um, regular cardstock and then I had to um, add the thicker cardstock inside so you can write on it so it gives it a little bit more sturdiness so I used um, only one color of the sequins and this is like a um, like an iridescent orange I love this orange. I'm not an orange person but um, this card has a little bit orange on it, so I use these um, pretty orange sequins. So I made this one, and this one says thank you, which is perfect because I did not have to use a sentiment for that one. So I made that one with the black cardstock. And then I also made this one. This one came out really pretty as well. I love the different colors that they used. And it says hello. And I did the same thing with the inside. So I did that and then um, the next three that I'm going to show you I did a little bit different um, instead of making them cards I actually made them kind of like um, postcards so um, I'm sure you're probably not going to want to just mail this in the mail like a po postcard but what I did actually is I just put um, double-sided tape and smacked on some cardstock on the back so I think that is I I thought it was a great idea actually <laughs> so very simple all I did was add a lot of pretty sequins and I love this card I'm not a yellow person as well or a purple person or orange person pur purple orange or yellow person but um I actually love the color combo in here and it added a lot of um different elements as far as the sequins I used chunky glitter little hearts um, and butterflies but I love the way this card came out super pretty I love the colors and then I just what die did I use on this one this is the Heidi Swap happy die that I used and um, I just love the way it came out super pretty so there's that postcard and then this one is so pretty. I love the colors. I use some butterfly sequins as well as some flower sequins. I don't know if you could see, but there's two different um, flowers in there. I have like this, like see-through one right there. And then that one. So this one says a rose from, and I didn't put a sentiment on it because it already had a rose from. And then... Um, when you write on the card, it'll say who it's from. So that's why I left it as is. And I love that the flower has glitter. And the butterflies have glitter on it too. So made that one. And the last one I love. It's a purple one. Look at how gorgeous. For this die, I use this one. It's by Concord and Ninth. And it's called Beautiful You Dies. 
and look at I used two different types of colors of sequins I was out of all the sequins that I have I do not have a lot of purple sequins purple and orange sequins so that's gonna have to be on my Cartwright list because this I have really dark purple sequins and then I have this and that's all that I have see there's that like really really light and then there's like this metallic but other than that, I love the way these cards turned out. See, and then I just put on the back card stock so that it's kind of like a postcard as opposed to a regular card. So yeah, that is my quick and little project video that I wanted to show you guys. So I hope everybody had a great week and the weekend's coming up. So I hope everybody enjoys their weekend and um, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and bye for now.